because who has thousands of dollars lying around to be due in literally two months? Like, I don't know where I personally would come up with the money. Like, I have a full-time job. I work 40 hours a week. But I do not make enough money to have that much money saved up. I, I don't. And it's not just me. There's so many families that live here and, like, elderly people. And just, it doesn't matter who we are. It's, it's just really hard to think that these are real people, like, with real lives that are being affected. As a person that lives in Miami now since over five years, I can tell you that the real estate market has changed drastically. I tried myself to buy a condo last year, and I'm so glad it didn't, it didn't went through because I could have found myself in the situation this woman have found herself through. Her, she went through hell with her condominium association aka the hell of HOAs. She has HOAs in her condominium and right now they're asking her crazy HOAs fees and crazy assessment. The story is unbelievable. The amounts are crazy and you need to hear the story all the way through because it blew my mind. The numbers are astronomical and I don't know how she gonna make it and it was really shocking and very sad and she has to c come with the numbers in a matter of time that is so insane i mean how they gonna make it how are those people are gonna survive please listen to this story carefully and let's discuss afterwards hi everyone my name is Brittany, and myself and hundreds of my neighbors need like desperate help um we are facing something that is quite literally unfathomable, unimaginable, and um, I apologize if at any point I get emotional during this. It's been a really hard um, since finding out that this was going to be happening. Context will be in a second, but um, yeah, I just hope that you have, however long this video is, please take the time just to watch it if you can to support. Um, and if anybody knows anything or anything that we can do, um, that would be great. I bought a condominium back in 2022 and this was a huge deal. Um, I was 21 years old and had the opportunity to own a house who in this world would not want that, right? I realized that not a lot of people my age get to have this opportunity. So it's something that I don't take lightly. It's just great, right? And it was great um, up until April 23rd of this year when everything kind of started going completely downhill. Also, I might be looking off to the side a little bit because I have numbers and I want to share them with you all so that you can understand like the gravity of this situation. So when I bought my condo, I was paying my mortgage payment and then a $315 HOA fee monthly, not yearly, monthly. Fine, whatever. Right after I moved in, a couple months, we were approached, myself and all the other owners, were approached by a company that was looking to buy us all out of our homes and turn our condominium complex into an apartment complex. At the time, they offered many of us amounts that didn't really make sense for us to want to agree to this. And they also were not taking into consideration people who had fully renovated units versus people who had regular units. And they were giving offering us the same price. So as a community, we banded together to fight for that and fight against that. And it didn't go through. At the end of 2022, we elected a new board of directors. And then we were informed that we would have an increase in our HOA fees from $315 a month to $414 a month. So understandable. Also, I'd like to say that the amounts that I've provided so far are specifically for my unit. I live in an 810 square foot unit and those are my fees. In December of 2023, so fast forward a year, we were notified that our HOA dues would be increasing from $414 a month to $651 a month. And most of it was due in part to insurance and the Surfside condominium collapse in Miami and laws that were passed to ensure the safety of our community. At this time, uh, several owners realized that the board of directors were 
not who I guess we thought. I'm not 100% sure on that, honestly. Um, but the main thing was that they got together to create a ballot to recall the current board and elect actual residents who live in our complex, which should be already a standard, but it is not. So once we found out the board of directors wasn't, I guess, who we thought we elected, um, it was discovered who they actually were. And they have a company, one of them at least is an owner of a company who has done this to multiple condominium complexes all around the Orlando, Florida area, which is where um, this is all happening. All of these people as well are on a board at another condominium complex in another area of Orlando, and they're doing the same thing to them as well. So some of us signed the ballot to recall the board, some of us didn't, and we went forward. But on April 23rd, that's when we were provided a letter in the mail that literally pretty much has changed all of our lives and will change all of our lives if it actually passes. So because of the Surfside collapse, there was a law created that condominium complexes have to fully fund their reserves, which fair, understandable, right? If something happens, we want to be able to have the money, whatever. And I guess in the years past, they have waived this. The board of directors in the previous years waived this, so nobody had been paying the fees. So there's a lot of millions of dollars missing that needs to be made up. So our board of directors put a plan in place that will be voted on by them, not us, on May 15th. And I'm recording this on May 3rd. And they get the vote. We don't get a vote. We don't get a say. And they will be charging the following fees. So first, there will be a special assessment fee, which will help to begin to fully fund our reserves. And this fee would range from $11,148 to $22,104. My 810 square foot unit home would be assessed at $15,569 fee. 50% 50 of this would be due June 30th and the other 50% would be due July 31st. Obviously this is distressing in and of itself because who has thousands of dollars lying around to be due in literally two months. Like, I don't know where I personally would come up with the money. Like I have a full-time job. I work 40 hours a week, but I do not make enough money to have that much money saved up. I, I don't. And it's not just me. There's so many families that live here and like elderly people. And just, it doesn't matter who we are. It's, it's just really hard to think that these are real people, like with real lives that are being affected. So on top of the special assessment fee, they also would be raising our monthly HOA dues, effective June 1st. These dues would range from $1,486 to $2,590. For my specific unit, 810 square feet, I would go from paying $651 a month to $1,824 a month. And this is effective June 1st if they pass this on the 15th. I genuinely hope that somebody can provide guidance on this. Like, we understand that the fees need to be paid <laughs> and that the reserves need to be funded and all those things. But the takeaway here is that, like, in two months, nobody can come up with this money. Nobody. And on top of coming up with that money, then have an increase in dues that much. Personally, again, this is in Orlando, Florida, so I've like reached out and also I used to uh, rent an apartment here and there are 100% apartments that I could go right now and rent for actually less than the 1800 but about that much for like a comparable unit. And to top all this off, I'm still paying my mortgage. So I still have a mortgage payment on top of this, these exorbitant fees. So I just, I come to you the community of TikTok, I've really not ever made anything like this before. So I'm just hoping that somebody can help, like give advice, provide guidance, help us because it's, and it's not just me. Like, honestly, like I've, <laughs> to be so real and honest with you guys, like I've never felt so sad 
and like scared and just hopeless and my whole life like I feel hopeless honestly like if we don't recall the board and make sure that everything holds I don't like I'm gonna have to sell the house I worked so hard to buy in the first place and I'm scared that I won't even be able to buy a house ever again you know and I know I'm really privileged to have this place in the first place, but honestly, with everything that's happened to us, it's it's like, is it worth it? And at what cost? Because this is causing many people to to freak out, like literally. So please, please, I beg of you, honestly, if anybody can say anything in the comments down below, message me on here, Instagram, wherever, please, I just, I really need help. And my neighbors need help and my community needs help and I want to hopefully be able to provide some sort of help for these people and myself. Thank you. Wow, can you imagine? First of all, this girl is so brave to be able to tell her story and share it the way she's doing it. This is amazing to have the courage to speak about something like that and put the numbers out there because a lot of people are just afraid to show their failures and show that they're struggling and i found that incredibly brave to be able to talk about it out loud and second being 21 years old and have put yourself in a financial situation to be able to afford um a condominium it's amazing and having it taken away from you so fast <laughs> you haven't even had the time to enjoy it and put all the furniture and decoration yet that they're telling you that you can't afford it anymore and i'm i'm an immigrant i feel like it's so america like the second you can do something the second um you can afford or have something it's like no no no, no. the rules of the game have changed and you have to run again to make it up and have it again you know it's like the carrot it, you can never eat the whole carrot you have a little bit of it and then it's further away and it's very sad um to see this and the numbers are astronomical how she went from 300 i think it was 300 um 15 to now we at over 1800 dollars a month Plus the assessment is like just insane. I do understand about the load that is happening in Florida. And that's why we stopped the process last year uh, to buy with my husband as well. We were deciding that it will be not the time. We were waiting to see what will happen. And things are that we anticipated are happening. But it's really heartbreaking to see that people right now are being threatened to literally be exposed because that's my that's what might happen if people don't come up with the money um because th we are in a capitalist country um even if they are not gonna ask the money just as fast or even if they are making the payment in like a um in a in a in a manner that is gonna be maybe more spread out then they will still ask for the money that's what i do believe what would happen um and i do hope they find maybe another solution but it it sounds very scary at the moment and she's so young and she still has the mortgage to pay on the top of that it is just so crazy that every time you're trying to do something in this country there is still something happening every time you have something there is another thing that catch you up and um it's like you can never really win and if you win you have to win with like really really big numbers or really be on on your toes all the time to not be caught up with something else so i don't know that's like how i feel i don't know let me know if you feel the same way about this situation and uh, let me know if you have HOAs in where you live, um, if you know people that have been in this situation, and if you would buy somewhere that have HOAs. Um, I would love to know what's your take on this situation and your comment down below. So please share uh, comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.